Well, I have a treat for you. Listen, you're not an engineer trapped in a bad spot. You're some hobbyist annoyed that reality isn't a textbook. You're unhappy because you're fighting the job itself. Those frustrations you have, that's the job description. If these problems didn't exist, <laughs> they would pay you the big bucks to fix them. Meetings keep expensive people on the same page. I sat through a four hour review once, felt like a slow death, till I realized my silence was basically the problem. The project was failing apart because I stayed quiet. Speak up about the technical side in the room. Stop fixing the mess in the code later. Technical debt isn't a sin. It's a mortgage. You take it on to get the house now, instead of waiting some 20 years. Use debt to move fast. Just pay off the high interest parts before they bury the team. If a product doesn't change, nobody's using it. A pivot is just feedback. If requirements stayed the same, it means your users don't care. Build thing in pieces. A change in plans shouldn't make you quit. Your boss doesn't care about the code. They care if the feature works. Stop talking about how, start talking about when. They aren't non-technical, they're focused on the business. Explain tech problems like business risks. That's how you keep the help you need. Legacy code is code that's actually making money. I like to call legacy code the project that survived. It's a mess because it survived the real world. Your clean side project never had to do that. Respect the garbage that pays your salary. Slowly replace it while it keeps the lights on. Every time you roll your eyes at those problems, you're showing me something. You're not ready for a seat at the big table. Burnout isn't about working too hard. It's about working on things that don't matter. You're tired because you're shipping stuff nobody uses or cares about. Ask to see the data on your work. Make your effort feel like it's worth something. You hate giving estimates because you think they're promises. They're bets. If you're always wrong, your math is off, not the calendar. Double your gut feeling. Add a buffer for the bugs you know are coming. The business doesn't care about the latest tech. They care about staying online and making sales. A new framework for a simple app is just plain, and you're doing it on the company's dime. Use some boring tech to build great products. A promotion isn't about learning a new language. It's about taking responsibility for the business. A senior knows the code. A lead knows how to save the company 200 grand. Stop asking for a title. Solve the problems your boss is too stressed to handle. Code tells the truth. Documentation tells you why. If you don't write down the why, you're leaving a trap for yourself. Write for the idiot who has to fix this in two years, because that idiot is probably going to be you. The best devs don't have the cleanest code. They turn ideas into money with the least amount of friction. Stop being a coder. Start being a problem solver. Code is just an expensive tool. Use it as a last resort. If you want more of this, check the link tree in the description. Go back to work. Stop acting like the world owes you a perfect setup. It doesn't. That's why you're stuck.